trots and militants with vested interests and indeed interesting vests. They are the people, they are the people who idolise, who idolise, they are the people who idolise Hugo Chavez and toast the revolution in taxpayer funded vintage Burgundy. This is the I moronic know. MPs <laughs> who nominated Jeremy Corbyn to have a debate. It includes John need, Crudders, need though. their heads yeah. felt. They need their heads well, felt. They should be ashamed of themselves. Well, hang on, felt. hang on. You can see that. But then what you might see, this is actually. They're morons, they're morons right? <laughs> uh, that's the first thing. The second, the second thing is. <laughs> but these I are do... actually, there are actually, do you do accept there are Labour members and indeed people in the country that do support Jeremy Corbyn? I mean, it's not a chimera. Political, political parties are full of suicidally inclined activists okay. and clearly some of right. our members are suicidally inclined. I asked my mother, oh, I think I know what my mother would say, I think she'd look across the dispatch box and she'd say, put on a proper suit, do up your tie and yeah. sing the national anthem. Let's get this straight, your reaction to this overwhelming victory by Jeremy Corbyn is to rerun that election strategy of basically trying to scare British people about it. No, the selection shows that Labour now poses a very serious risk to our security, our national security, because they would undermine our defences, to our economic security, because there'd be taxes on jobs, taxes on earnings and more borrowing, and to the security of every family. That would affect all working people. Central primaries. Um, but just to be clear, mm. I, I thought that Jeremy Corbyn's candidacy was a joke and a big mistake that the Labour Party had made. I never envisaged he might actually win. Are you aggressive? When people say, you know, well, my heart says I should really be without politics. Well, get a transplant, because that's just that. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think you, you, I might raise some eyebrows when I say it, but I, but I really think that Jeremy Corbyn is Britain's Donald Trump. Thousands of words have been written about the new Labour leader. But you only really need to know one thing. He thinks the death of Osama bin Laden was a tragedy. No. A tragedy is nearly 3,000 people murdered one morning in New York. A tragedy is the mums and dads who never came home from work that day. A tragedy is people jumping from the towers after the planes hit. My friends, we cannot let that man inflict his security-threatening, terrorist-sympathising, Britain-hating ideology on this country we love. Well, I think uh, everyone should be put on trial. I also profoundly disagree with the death penalty under any circumstances for anybody. That's my own view. On this, there was no attempt whatsoever that I can see to, to arrest him, to put him on trial, to go through that, that process. This was an assassination attempt. And it's yet another tragedy upon a tragedy upon a tragedy. The World Trade Center was a tragedy. The attack on Afghanistan was a tragedy. The war in Iraq was a tragedy. Tens of thousands of people have died. Torture has come back onto the world stage, been canonized virtually into law by Guantanamo and Bagram. Can't we learn some lessons from this? And this will just make the world more dangerous and worse and worse and worse. The solution well, has got to be law, not war.